High school football in Clearfield very seriously. So the uh, Bradford Owls getting set to come onto the field, and uh, the uh, Owls will be um, led by their four captains, uh, Tyler Arlington, Josh McCrady, Al Priest, and Josh Scott. And the Owls uh, standing in the uh, lineup here, getting set and ready to come out. And uh, some of the uh, fans already uh, taking their time to go over and give the uh, players a high five. A lot of expectations in Bradford this year with a, a pretty good team coming back. Clearfield, of course, reloading uh, their Clearfield as uh, always. And what a rivalry this one is, Kevin. Oh, no, definitely. Uh uh, Bradford speed tonight with the field. I actually ran down real quick uh, right after we opened up tonight. Uh, head referee tonight's a friend of mine, Denny Geithner, so I ran down to shake his hand, and the field is in excellent shape. So it uh, should be to our benefit with our speed and our backfield, our quickness on the line. Uh, not a lot of weight and size, but I'll tell you what, against McDowell, those kids had 50 to 60 pounds on every lineman, and Bradford was putting it to them. So I think I kind of like the speed and quickness over the size. So Bradford should be ready, and uh, no excuses. Yep, here Bradford bouncing up and down on the sidelines. The band ready to uh, play the national anthem, and the uh, red and black getting set to uh, take the field. And here they come, the 2003 Bradford Owls, as they arrive on the field. And we're about, uh, oh, about four minutes away from kickoff here at Parkway Field. And this should be a dandy, as always. Uh, these two teams uh, playing once last year. Uh, two years ago, they played twice. And the Owls beat the Bisons in Dubois for the District 9 championship. Three years ago, they beat the Clearfield Bisons in Brockway. For the there was a concern, but as uh, Mike Syka told me this afternoon, I spoke to him personally. Mike told me, he said that uh, the first line coming through about... About 4 o'clock, the second about 5 o'clock. He said you should be home free by 7. And uh, News 4 meteorologist Mike Sykes uh, forecast uh, right on the money. And by the way, he says tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day with temperatures around 70 degrees and lots of sun. Crowd's starting to file in nice now. So for you, there, for those of you who are out there that weren't going to come, show up. Uh, especially my wife who's afraid to get her hair wet. So, honey, <laughs> come on out and see the ball game. Well, look. Uh, the Owls getting set and uh, dropping deep for Clearfield. It will be the speedster, Josh Harbull. And uh, the Owls getting set here to put ball in play. Kyle McFarland getting set to approach the ball. The high school football season in Pennsylvania is underway. McFarland's kick, and it will be taken by one of the up men for Clearfield. This will be Ellen Queen. Queen across the uh, 15. Queen out to the 20. Queen still on his feet at the 25. Turns the corner, 30. And Queen will be dragged out of bounds over there and run into the uh, bleachers. Uh, and Tyler Arlington along with Kyla McFarland on the tackle. And it will be first and 10 Bison setting up their defense and they're going to come out in the ace formation Harbol is in the tail of the that formation that ace set a wing to the right side Tanner Kelly the junior under center it will be Harbol into the line and they've got him Harbol will get two and that's it it'll be second and long for the legs there's nothing I don't see anything on the inside this year right now in that trap but uh, we'll see what goes on tonight but very quick up front the owls very quick well, I'll tell you, they, they know what they're getting in the ends, and the key up front will be their two uh, defensive tackles. Uh, uh, of course, they're going to have to, Rocco Lentz and Joe Reinhardt, uh, going to have to help clog that middle force uh, uh, plays to the linebackers, and they did just that uh, with a beautiful stop. It'll be second and nine. Trend receivers going to the left. Davis will line up the fullback. In the I formation, it is Harbaugh. In motion is Davis. Harbaugh, toss sweep, wants to throw out of it. He does. He's got a man there, and it's going to be intercepted and dropped. Knocked down by the Owls. Great coverage there by Aaron O'Toole, and it will be third and eight. What an excellent break on the ball by Aaron O'Toole. Uh, changed a few things up this year on defense. Uh, Bradford playing a lot of zone in the back and then looking for the ball and breaking on it, and that was an excellent defensive coverage. So this will be a third and about eight, the Owls are bringing some personnel out. Looks like they're going to go to their nickel package. And uh, when they go to their nickel package, they bring in a, another defensive back here. And coming in for the Owls, it'll be uh, Josh Holleran. As Clearfield will go trips to the left. And they've got a single to the right. Harbold in the run spot. Here is Tanner Kelly. Kelly on third and long at the 38 of Clearfield. And we got flags on the play. And what do we have here? We got three flags. It's going to be against the Bisons, I would think. It's an illegal procedure, so that'll make it third and long. This was uh, Clearfield's bread and butter last year when they put that Richards in motion with a quick pitch. Mm -hmm. And um, I just don't think they see that this year like they did last year. The Owls crossed him up. They brought a fifth defensive back in, and Clearfield uh, did not uh, 
uh, get their play snapped in time. May have, uh, you know, taken a little longer to see what, what developed there. And now it'll be third at about 15 at the uh, 33-yard line of uh, Clearfield. Just underway at Parkway Field. No score. The Owls and the Bisons. John Frontino is our first quarter contestant as part of Toji's Touchdown Sweepstakes, Toji's Family Restaurant. Kelly back to pass. The rush is on. The pass is away, and it's going to be overthrown. A decent rush by the Owls there. Uh, that'll bring up uh, fourth at a kicking situation for the Bisons. What a nice start for the Bradford Owls to get uh, four downs and out here, and um, hopefully we can pick it up here and uh, turn it around, put it in the end zone right away. Well, I'll tell you one thing that I thought going into this year, we knew the offense for Bradford was going to be special, but I'll tell you what, this defense is very, very quick. Fast, 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 fast. Sean Weesjock, who's got the wheels, back at the 35, and uh, Kelly getting set to uh, do the kicking here for the uh, Bisons. Actually, they got Shuri in there now uh, doing the kicker. Kelly had been told he was going to do it. Here's the kick. It's away. And Weesjock after it at the 35. Weesjock comes to the 40. Sean at his feet at the 45. Spins, and he's down there. It'll be first and 10. Bradford. And I'll tell you what. That was close to the halo uh, call there, wasn't it? Oh, very, very close. The uh, Clearfield guy come up field uh, at full throttle, and and Sean has to have, what, five yards, is it? Mm -hmm. Three yards for uh, a fair, not a fair catch, but a catch to take off of the ball, and he actually almost face-guarded him, but Weese picked it up, took off, picked up about six, seven yards, and Bradford looking sharp at the 43. Toji's Family Restaurant, Toji's Touchdown Sweepstakes. Thanks to Mel Bizarro and the gang at Toji's again, and the Owls line up with twin receivers to the right. The wing is to the left. Mike Austin, the junior quarterback under center. Austin going to give it to the fullback and a flag on the play. And uh, this one's going to come back. Illegal procedure against the Owls. Well, a little uh, anxiety between these two teams. Just going to say it. A little nervous. First snap, junior quarterback pushed into a major role after losing our quarterback uh, last year. Um, but uh, Mike definitely will get it together. So the Owls... Unable to run a play there. Again, we're just underway. 10.40 to play here in this first quarter. The Owls coming out with Kleinberger going to the left. Double wing formation for Bradford. Austin motions in O'Toole. O'Toole running to the right. Aaron cuts it back. 40, 45. O'Toole midfield. Down to the 40. O'Toole on his horse to the 30. Down to the 20. 15, 10, 5. And down to the two-yard line. It'll be first and goal, Bradford. But wait a second. We got a flag on the play. This one may be coming back. A flag on the play. It's holding against the Owls. It is coming back. O'Toole turned the corner, but a flag on the play. It's all for not. Oh, boy, what a nice-looking play. Jet sweep, guards get out in front of him, and Aaron gets on his horse, and away he goes. Tough call. Looks like it's thrown at about the 49, so they're, gonna, they're probably going to gain maybe three yards on it, but tough. So that's the uh, Owls' second penalty. Obviously, Clearfield has to take it, but it would have been first and goal. But uh, the Owls with that jet sweep, as uh, Kevin mentioned, something different than they've run in the past. And uh, the, the, the running back runs down the line and then sprints to the uh, corner. This is a 10-yarder, uh, illegal use of hands. It will be first and 14 now. Yeah, they picked up a yard on it. All for not. Excellent play. Now see if Bradford can uh, compose himself, pick it back up, and get it done again. I'm kind of excited to see Wees run the ball here now. I know. Well, O'Toole has some wheels, too. Kleinberger going to the right side. And the Owls show the same formation, the double wing. Austin under center. It'll be Weesjock sweeping to the left side. Weesjock at the 40. 45. Weesjock out of bounds at about the 48-yard line of Clearfield. And it'll be second and about seven for the Owls. Ryan was pushed, or uh, Wees was pushed out of side, outside by a uh, sophomore, uh, Ryan Bowe. Uh, for Clearfield. Nice pursuit down the line and taking them out. Just underway here in the first quarter. The Owls and Bisons no score. Clearfield had the ball first and the Owls forced him a three and out. And now Bradford facing second and seven at the uh, 48 yard line. The Owls are going with their wing to the right. It's Weesjock. Austin under center. 
It will be O'Toole sweeping to the right. O'Toole cuts it back midfield. O'Toole at the 45. Aaron down to the 40. O'Toole to the 30. Cuts it back. And O'Toole with a first down down to the 27-yard line. It'll be first and 10, Bradford. No yellow on the field right now, Frank. Same play, just a different formation for him. They put a double post out there. And brought the ball right to the right and cut it up. Am I allowed to toot my own kid's horn? Absolutely. Tyler right. Ellington with a pancake on the right side to open a hole there. I mean, he literally uh, drove his linebacker right into the ground. And Brent Robb uh, kicked out uh, one of the corners, and he got outside. First and ten owls. And the owls on the march at the 28 of Clearfield. The wing is to the uh, uh, right and left. Clearfield showing blitz. Here's the handoff to Snyder. Straight ahead. Snyder inside the 25. And David down to the 20. And close to another. Owls first down. Shoestring tackle in there by Clearfield. Can't see three or four guys grabbing at the legs. But right now, Bradford is getting off the ball. Kevin, that's where the wing sweeps and stuff. You can set up some, some of the traps and vice versa up the middle, right? Oh, absolutely. They just ran the exact same formation. Everybody went to the same place, but give it to three different people. You can trap, you can sweep, you can go down. It's, it's an excellent offense. Kleinberger going to the right side, and Austin under center. Double wing for the Owls. Wieschak going left. Here's Sean cutting it back. Wieschak at the 20. Wieschak down to the 15, to the 10. It'll be first and goal for the Owls, down close to the 10-yard line. Well, they're going to say maybe outside the 10 now, but Wieschak turning the corner there, and Clearfield did a good job to take a touchdown away. Definitely. The linebackers got their work cut out for them tonight. They're working down the line. That was Josh Harold taking them out of bounds outside, but definitely scraping down the line and doing some outside tackle. But Bradford's picking up six, seven yards every time. We'll take it. You know, that's the thing that impressed me with the Owls in the scrimmage. Uh, yeah, they broke a long touchdown, but they put together a couple of nice drives. And uh, the Bison showing blitz here. Clearfield shifting around. It will be O'Toole to the right side, and O'Toole will be dropped back at the 18-yard line. So a big loss on the play there. And it'll bring up a second and long for the Owls. Clearfield doing a super job shooting the A-seam on that one there to get through to, to pick it off. Uh, they shifted down the line to go to the strength, and uh, they just got in there and did the job and dropped Bradford for a loss. So the Owls facing second at about 15 out at about the 17-yard line of Clearfield. No score, first quarter. Owls football here on 1490 WESB. Brian Wallace, the uh, senior center, leads the Owls out. Kleinberger going to the right side. The Owls with a wing to the left side. O'Toole in motion. Here's Austin play action. Austin throws out there. O'Toole has it. Aaron at the 10. O'Toole fighting his way down close to the five-yard line. And it'll be uh, third and short for the Owls. Excellent, excellent fake by uh, our quarterback. Giving it down the line and throwing the little... Uh the little uh, hitch out there to O'Toole. He gets out of bounds, gains a quick nine. Well, as you mentioned, Clearfield trying to shift personnel to try to get to the Owls' strength there. And the Owls with a quick hitter there, they got uh, about nine yards. Now, it, it, you look at that, it's still third and about five, but they got a really nice pickup on that play. Kleinberger going to the right side. And Austin coming under center. Let's see if Snyder gets it in the run spot with a double wing formation. In motion, Wiesjock. Wiesjock cutting it back to the left side. Needs a block. Shot in trouble. And he'll be thrown back at the 19-yard line. Uh, excellent job by Scoggins. Read that all the way. Uh, Wies went outside. Scoggins worked off the block. Come up. Took him for a big loss. So it'll be fourth and a kicking situation for the Owls. And it looks like the Owls are going to go to the uh, field goal try here, I would think. Absolutely. Strength in the uh, kicking department this year for Bradford again with a returning kicker. And they'll spot this at about the 24-yard uh, line, so make it a 34-yard kick for Kyle McFarland. The Owls trying to get the lead here. Wallace. With the snap, the put down by Austin, the kick by McFarlane, it's up, it's no good. So Clearfield dodges a bullet, no score, the Owls and Bisons, this is Owls football. Exciting football action on WESB. The Bisons in their eye formation with motion to the left side from Davis. Here's the toss to Harbaugh. Harbaugh trying to get outside, trying to turn the corner. Does. He's at the 15 out to the 20 and close to a first down out at the 30-yard line for the Bisons. One of Clearfield's bread and butter plays that motion quick pitch out to the left that they use. And um, Bradford's got to get that defensive end out there to contain out there. Our safety coming up. Jake Wells taking care of it, finishing it off, uh, taking them outside, tackling them. 
You know, the Owls' offense moved the football. Now their defense has to come up again big here. First and ten, Bisons. Clearfield uh, sending Scoggins wide to the right side. Shattuck goes to the left. And they go to the I formation. Harbaugh is about seven yards deep. That's the way he likes to run out of that I formation set. Kelly on first and ten. Going to give it to the fullback. And uh, nothing there for Davis. He'll be snowed under. And he'll be second and long at about the 32-yard line. You could just about call every name out on that front line that time. Ryan Hart and all of them right there real hard. Good penetration. Uh, tough to run up the center right now. Well, that's the one thing I think that... Uh, Clearfield does try to keep you honest, but that toss sweep, if you can get your containment on the outside there, uh, you obviously can do a, go a long ways towards beating this team. Even though they do throw a little bit, uh, they love to run that toss sweep. That's a nice play if you get it blocked right. Clock running, 6.55 to go. First quarter, no score. The Owls and Bisons. Opening night here at Parkway Field. Clearfield again. Now they're going to... Sp uh, run an ace formation with a lone setback here is Harbold and a flag on the play and it may be delay of game against Clearfield yes it is so instead of second and nine it's going to be second and 14 a lot of flags already for uh, 10 minutes of football don't you think you know the one thing is the opening night always seems to take you a while to get things going yeah I I'm never big a big fan of that delay of the game. I would think you would know what to shoot next. How about it? <laughs> <laughs> I do, too. And maybe the, uh, I think a lot of times what teams do is they take too long running their, uh, their cadence. Yeah, that's why I'm up here and they're down there. Backs are split in between Kelly here on second and long. And the Bison's going to throw. Kelly back to pass. Airs it out. He's got a man there. It's going to be caught by Harbaugh. Harbaugh at the 40. And he'll have the first down out to the 45-yard line. So Clearfield gets the first down on second and long. Bradford actually had that contained. It's just the uh, halfback on the outside for us. Just turned the wrong way. It dropped over his head. Excellent catch. Excellent pass. And uh, pushed out of bounds by Bradford's uh, Dave Schneider come across to help out on that, but not after a big game. Bison's uh, moving a couple of tight ends in and out. Joe Davis, 6'5", uh, 190-pound senior in there now for the Bison's. Clearfield has yet to uh, get into Bradford territory. That's the Bison's first first down. You are keeping track of first downs, right? All right, very good. Potsy doing stats tonight for us. Broken eye. And let's see if Harbaugh gets it. He does. Harbaugh trying to sweep to the outside. And there trying to turn go. the corner. He's got him! Brian Wallace all the way back at the 40-yard line. Excellent. He also did a great job there. Sorry to override you, Frank. I get a little excited like you do, buddy. But uh, excellent containment. Uh, get him once. You won't get him twice, right? Well, the Owls uh, linebackers are very, very quick. And... Again, that uh, those defensive ends, they're going to force teams to, to maybe go quicker or go wider or come quicker up the seam. And you know, the Owls have made the play. So it'll be second, and we'll call it about 17 to go for a clear field first down. They have to get to the Bradford 43. Twin receivers to the right, a single to the left, and we have an eye formation behind. Sure, looked like there was motion there, and back to pass, they flare it out. We've got illegal procedure on the Bisons. There was motion by, I believe, the uh, tight end or left tackle of Clearfield. So this one's coming back. It'll be uh, second and about 22 now. Uh, one thing I really like to watch uh, Bradford's defense, Coach Culligan takes care of it, is their change to their formations. Bradford is an excellent defensive team to cover formation. If you throw trips, single slot, full house, whatever, Bradford High is just fantastic at covering it, keeping the numbers even on the power side. They just they just do a great job at it. The Owls going to their nickel package as Josh Hollering comes in here at Clearfield going with twin receivers trying to cross the Owls up. At a uh, ace formation, the lone setback is Harbold. Here's Clearfield back to pass a delay, and Harbaugh trying to break free, does 40, 45, still on his feet at the 46, and he goes down kind of hard there as John Colts gets him, and it will be uh, third and about 12 or 13 to go. Brian Wallace is slapping the ground. He was up there, he had to play, but uh, just lost his grip to him and uh, break out there for a nice little game. Here's a key defensive series for the Owls with uh, 4.56 to go here at quarter number one. The Owls are bringing McCready back in as uh, they take Holler and out, so they go back to their base, 44. 
Clearfield with twin receivers to the right. And the key guy out there is Michael Scoggins. I formation at Kelly. Kelly back to pass. The Owls trying to get a rush on here. Kelly trying to step up, and they've got him. John Colts has him at midfield. The Owls got a good rush from the perimeter, and they got him. It'll be fourth at a kicking situation for the Bisons. Excellent defensive call on Bradford. They shot the defensive end out, pulled the, pulled the tackle out, shot the linebacker right through the gap, and made him rush the pass, which made him go upfield, and Bradford contained him. Excellent job. So Sean Wiesjock standing back at his uh, 22, and you know, that Clearfield does not want to kick the ball to him. So let's see uh, where uh, he tries to put it here. And Sherry standing back at his 38. Good snap. Kick is away. Now oh, this is a line drive one. It's kicked away from Wee's Jock. He wants to field it, but has to let it go back at the 10-yard line. So a good, effective kick from the Bisons. And the Owls will have it first and 10 at their 9. You're listening to Owls Football on WESB. Replace those old baloney skins on your car with a brand new set of tires and get a state inspection for just $5.99 at Stony North Tire. Choose from brand names like Michelin, Uniroyal, Bridgestone, Goodyear, Firestone. Your $5.99 inspection today. No baloney? Visit Stony. Stony North Tire on Barber Street in Bradford. Jock in motion, and it will be Snyder, the fullback, busting free. Snyder at the 15, 20, 25, and Snyder all the way out to the 28-yard line. And the Owls had the Bisons fooled, Kevin. Clearfield thought the sweep was coming. They hit him with a fullback trap. I'll tell you what, and that was a saving tackle there by their safety crotzer because if he didn't snap his legs off, him, he might have been on the horse all the way down. Bradford High uh, took and uh, went to the weak side on a, on a uh, trap right there, and Clearfield was shifting to strength, and they caught him. Dave Snyder's two carries now, 21 yards. Of course, the Owls had a big gain from Aaron O'Toole, wiped out by a penalty. No score. We have 3.20 to go here in the first quarter. In motion is O'Toole. This will be Snyder again. Snyder off the right side of the line. 30, 35. And Snyder out to the 37-yard line. And he's close to another Owls first down. Another quick hitter by Bradford, keeping them on their toes out there. Uh, with number 44, middle linebacker Davis comes up to pick him off to stop him short of that first down. Bradford High just has so many looks, and Clearfield started out trying to shift to strength, and I think Bradford caught him on the weak side, and I don't know if that's going to happen much more. Well, the Owls, uh, I think those uh, quick hitters up the middle may, uh, again, open up the sweep now for Wee's Jock, and, you know, the, the thing is that uh, the Owls had a nice run early, so they know they can do it. Uh, they just have to make sure that uh, they keep their hands in. Second and about two, and the ball at the 36-yard line of Bradford. The Owls with their second possession. They tried a field goal, but it uh, was no good. And now the Owls are lining up here. We had some something on the field there. Left guard Brent Robb was trying to shake off his feet. Wing uh, on the right and left sides. Here's Wee's Jock. Jet sweep to the left. Needs a block. Sean trying to turn the corner. 40, 35 midfield. Wee's Jock down the fight lines. 40, 35, 30. And Wee's Jock is pushed out of bounds there. It'll be first and 10 Owls at the Clearfield 30-yard line. I'll tell you what, Frank. Harold's already getting up, leaning on his knees because he's chasing them all night. You can see it already. That was a great corner turn in. Brent Robb with a great kick out block. The uh, left at guard, all District 9 last year. Excellent, excellent trap and turn it up and go. Well, the Owls have established their running game, and Clearfield wants timeout. Give it to O'Toole. Needs a block. O'Toole trying to cut it back. Does. He gets to the 30-yard line, down to the 27-yard line. So O'Toole breaking tackles and even dragged the linebacker another three or four. And that'll set up second and short. Excellent, excellent. Just hitting them left and right, up the middle everywhere, keeping them off balance right now. That was Hinchcliffe coming in to make that tackle from behind on him. Well, they're going to move the ball back now. Close to the 28, so give them four, make it second and six. Kleinberger going to the right side. Double wing set now for the Owls. Clearfield with 11 men in the box. Here's the handoff to Wiesjock. Wiesjock cuts it back 30, down to the 25. And Clearfield is really putting a lot of guys in the box. I think the Owls may be looking for a pass here real soon. And Austin can throw it. Oh, Clearfield's always kept nine right around that line of scrimmage. Just, just the way they play football, they keep it up front, contain the run. They do an excellent job at it. So this will be third and about four at the Clearfield 25. The Owls have had the bulk of the play here in the first quarter, but they've got to get something on the board. 
Kleinberger going to the left side. He's got single coverage out there. Double wing. Strong side to the right side. Here's a little handoff up the middle, a little handoff to uh, Snyder, and there's not going to be much there. And uh, it will be fourth and about uh, three yards to go, and I think the Owls may be going for it here. Yeah, a little decision time for Ackerman, but he's not wasting no time sending a play in either. So a big play for the Owls, fourth and three at the 24-yard line. He actually got inside the 25, but they put the ball at the 25. So big play for the Owls offensively. They've risen to the occasion defensively, but now with a little over a minute to go here in the uh, first quarter, they've got to come up here. The Owls with uh, a double wing set again. Austin under center. Let's see where he's going to go. It's going to be Wees Jack to the left side, and Sean cuts it back. Sean inside the 10, 20 down to the 15, 10, 5, touchdown Owls! Sean Wees Jack waltzes into the end zone from 24 yards out on 4th and 3. The Owls lead 6 nothing. How about that Travis Henry spin right there, huh, for all you Bills fans? How about it? Four or five blockers in front of him, plants the foot, and spins right out of it. So Sean Wiesjock with a great job there, a 24-yard touchdown run, and the Owls have taken a 6-0 lead, and Clearfield wants a timeout. We'll take it with them. The 65 hot and cold items in Toji's Mega Salad Bar, daily lunch specials. Create your own surf and turf on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Homemade pasta salads and pies, it's a great place to go. Speaking of to go, Toji's delivers. Reserve Toji's banquet room for special get-togethers and check out Toji's catering menu with 16 different options. Toji's Family Restaurant. Register there for Toji's Touchdown Sweepstakes. East Main Street, Bradford. Well, they had us uh, fooled here. Clearfield had signaled for a timeout, and the, the official pointed at Clearfield as they were going to take a timeout. And then they said no. The Owls ran the two-point conversion. They ran the old uh, Nebraska play. Everybody lines up to the left side. Uh, the uh, midday shuffle. Uh, well, actually, it's the muddle huddle. Muddle huddle with the, mid, the shuffle. And what happened was Austin took it off the snap, ran out to his right at the last second, faked a pitch to his uh, wingback wee shot, then strolled in for two. And the Owls lead 8 nothing here in the first quarter with uh, 28 seconds to go. What an excellent job on the extra point. They threw a little different look at him. Clearfield didn't make the adjustment, so Bradford went for the two pointers that are kicking the extra one. They're up 8 nothing. What a nice play. Excellent call by Coach Ackerman. So the Owls lead 8 nothing. They got something there on that drive on 4th and 3. A 24-yard touchdown run by Sean Wieschuk and, of course, the two-point conversion by Mike Austin. Kyle McFarlane getting set to uh, kick the ball off. John Frontino, our Toji's touchdown sweepstakes winner. John Frontino, a uh, Owls touchdown means a dinner special. Toji's family restaurant, Toji's touchdown sweepstakes. And speaking of John Frontino, he's a member of the Bradford Owls football boosters. And right now down there cooking hot dogs. Here's a little squib kick up the middle. And they're going to be taken deep by Harbaugh at the 15, 20, 25. Out to the 30, 35, still on his feet there, and he'll be under tackle there. It'll be first and 10, Clearfield. Bradford sophomore Morgan O'Brien coming up from his outside, making that tackle. Fast kickoff team for Bradford, extremely fast. They pull a lot of the big guys out and go with the speed. Morgan O'Brien's one of the quick ones. So Clearfield with their third possession. The Owls have done a great job defensively on them and got to keep it going. Bradford's got them on their heels. That's definite from the from the uh, extra point to what they're running on offense. They've, they've got them thinking. I'll tell you, Clearfield is a lot like Bradford. They're, they're small, they're strong, and they're quick. So the Owls know that they have uh, a dogfight in front of them tonight. Ace formation, twin receivers to the right. And Kelly under center wants to throw. Kelly going to flare it out, does. And it's going to be caught at the midfield, down to the 45, down to the 40-yard line. Goes Shattuck, the receiver. And Nathan Shattuck, the 6'1", 175-pound senior, has a first down for the Bisons. Excellent, excellent play. They go to that single back formation, the ace that you're calling, Frank. And uh, Shattuck runs the post right there. Actually ran a, ran a seam. And uh, he stepped back and hit him right on the numbers. Excellent pass, excellent catch. Well, the Owls know they got to get a better pass rush on Tanner, Kelly. So first and ten Bisons. It's their first penetration into Bradford territory here. And we're in the uh, first quarter, and that'll do it. That's the end of the first quarter of play. It's the Owls eight. Clear. Definitely Bradford's got to come a little bit harder on the, uh, on the linebackers and see if we can't get some pressure on them. Now the officials uh, blowing their whistle and stopping play here. Uh, an equipment problem with a Clearfield player, and I think now... Uh, the uh, referee is going to go over and uh, 
restart the clock here as uh, they're all set. Now Clearfield will come to the line. Second quarter. And twin receivers to the right, twins to the left. Harpole is the lens lone setback. Here is Kelly, wants to throw. The rush is on, they've got him! John Colts got him first, Tyler Arlington finished him off, and it'll be a second and long. Colts, coming on the weak side, lightning baby, and he was there. Tanner stepped back, he just planted that back foot, and he was on top of him. Howell's going to their uh, nickel package now as they bring Josh Holleran in. And uh, Holleran, you'll hear a little bit about him this year. He's a 5'7", 133-pound sophomore, and he is a speedster. And I'll tell you what, he's the kid that can tackle in the open field. Clearfield shows the shame formation. The Bisons with twins to the right, twins to the left. And Harpole is the lens setback. Kelly, long count, wants to throw the rushes out. Snyder, they've got him again! Oh, Colts and Snyder finish him off there, and it will be third and long. Bradford shoots out the double lightning that time, bring both side outside linebackers, and nobody even puts a glove on them. They're all over them. They, well, you, you can't, I mean, if there's not enough guys to block, the Owls are just going to send them all. They're putting them, the twins left and twins right, and they're leaving five guys up front to block, four guys coming on the outside. On Can't do it. A couple of Owls uh, indicating there that uh, they're being held on the play, too, and that's uh, one thing that... Uh, I, 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 it may have been Brent Robb, uh, 66 there. I mean, they literally had a hole. It almost looked like they had a hold of his face mask, but I believe it was the jersey. So third and a mile here, back at the 49 of Bradford. Clearfield with twin backs in behind Kelly. Kelly may throw out of this one again. He's back to pass. The rush is on. Kelly rolling out, throws. It's caught. Oh, what a great hit by the Owls. Sean Wiesjock in open field at the 45. And that'll bring up fourth in a kicking situation. And the Owls stop him again. Excellent nickel package. They laid in their zone, third and a third. And Wies come up, caught the ball, laid the lumber to him. Little gain. Bradford's going to get it back. Well, you know, you want your uh, defensive backs uh, in that zone to make the tackle. And Sean Wieschuk did just that. That was a nice, nice open field tackle by Wies. Kept him right in front of him, put the lumber to him. 8 nothing, Bradford. We're here in the second quarter. Frank, along with Kevin, Potsy, and Sarah. And the uh, setback for the Owls here is Sean Wiesjock back at about his 17-yard line. High snap, but they get it away. Oh, the kick's almost blocked, and Wiesjock has to chase it over there, and it will take oh, a Bradford bounce and be down at the 22-yard line. So they kick it away from the Owls. Owls 8, Bison's nothing, Owls football, WESB. The kids are mighty famished. You can hear their bellies rumbling. It's past the dinner hour. I want Domino. Dad is mumbling. Mama says, I'm starving. She says that with a sigh. Tonight that's going to change when the man with the wings arrives. Domino's buffalo wings, that is. Get the door. It's Domino's. Call Domino's now for pickup and delivery specials at 368-8900. and 10. Wee's jock in motion and it will be the uh, fullback Snyder 25-30 and Snyder busting straight ahead as a gain of about 6 or 7 and David Snyder straight ahead gives the L second and short. Bradford with a quick hitter again right up the middle making the middle linebackers work for their money here. Picking them up, tackling them there several of the, uh, the defensive backs coming up to help out too trying to go with the run containment. Kleinberger coming to the right side on second and three. Lone setback is Snyder. Motion. It's Wiesjock. Wiesjock running to the left side trying to turn the corner. Wiesjock at the 30. 35. And then he's out of bounds there. That could be a late hit uh, because he had taken a step into a bison and then was hammered from behind. And there's the flag coming in now. I thought there should be a late hit there because uh, Wies was way out of bounds and then he was pushed after he was out of side there. And uh, the interesting thing is the uh, Clearfield player uh, when he came in there, could have held up, but uh, then he gave him a little push afterwards, so they're going to tack on 15 more, so this is a big gain for your red and black. Yeah, definitely had him. He had him under wraps, dragging him out of bounds, and uh, Bo Ryan come up and just laid a little bit more to him than he should have, should have backed off, and uh, cost his team 15 big ones. Kevin, Sean did have the first down, so uh, he got the first down, then this other 15 will be tacked on. Absolutely, because it's a, uh, after, it's a dead ball foul. Bisons now have four penalties for uh, 30 yards. And it's first and 10 all the way. Uh, should be out close to midfield after they uh, mark this off. I forgot. It's a penalty, right, Frank? Not a foul. 
Right. <laughs> so it'll be first and 10 outs. Bradford leading 8 nothing with 8.55 to go here in the uh, first half. Owls quickly to the line here. Austin under center. Double wing. In motion. It's Aaron O'Toole. It'll be the fullback Snyder. 45-40. Down to the 35. To the 33-yard line goes David Snyder. And he's ripping him off big time now for the Owls. It's first and 10 Bradford. Junior Tyson Johnson. Thank God he's out there because he was the lone man to make that final tackle. And he still rode him for six yards. Boy, I'll tell you, he was carrying him like uh, yeah. one of those bull riders in old Cheyenne days out there. Looked like Zambardi carrying his lunch to work. <laughs> It'll be uh, first and 10 Owls. 8.37 to go here in the second quarter. Double wing for Austin and the Owls. In motion, it's Wees Jock. Snyder against right ahead, 30. Snyder still on his feet at the 30, down to the 25-yard line. And David Snyder rambling uh, straight ahead there. Picks up another seven, maybe eight yards. Bread and butter. Trap play, Bradford High wing tee got to stop it if you're not going to do it we're just going to take it down the field eight ten plays and put it in the end zone you know one thing the owls did last year they would run their split ends in and out the years past they've run tight ends this year they're making austin because he is a good athlete making him run back and forth to get the plays second and two what do you think here kevin oh bread and butter sweep double wing for the owls here's austin O'Toole's in motion. It will be Snyder. It's straight ahead. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Owls. David Snyder off the uh, right side of the line, following his right guard, driving it into the end zone, and the Owls have taken a 14-0 lead. Bradford comes at you with right at the trap, right over the center. Then they pull it off the end, the down play, and they just stick it right to you. 25 yards for Snyder. He's almost over 100. Now the Owls lining up here for the point after, leading 14-0. 7.47 to go here in the second quarter. Dom Piganelli is our Toji's touchdown sweepstakes winner. The kick by McFarland straight through. The Owls lead 15-0. Dom Piganelli, a Toji's touchdown sweepstakes winner. Toji's family restaurant. Owls 15, Bison's nothing. Owls football, WESB. One of Bradford's oldest companies has a new name, Dresser Piping Specialties. Even though the name is new, Dresser's commitment to our community remains as strong as ever. From high school athletics to the United Way, the people of Dresser continue to support our community in many... And when they do that, that means Owls touchdowns. The Owls leading 15-0. They have a two-point conversion and an extra point. And Dom Peganelli and John Frontino are Toji's touchdown sweepstakes winners. So the Owls setting up here now to kick off. And Kyle McFarland getting set. Harbaugh standing back at his 10. Kyle hoping to get a good kick here. He does. Rifles this one. Harbaugh back at the 5. Harbaugh to the 10. Comes to the 15. Out to the 20. 25. And across the 25 to the 30. Check that it's Andrew Kreutzer. Kreutzer the uh, tight end uh, running back there. And he'll have it all the way out to about the... Uh, Thought they were going to spot the 30. It's going to be at the 28. So it'll be first and 10 Bisons. Excellent downfield coverage. Coming in was Jeremy O'Toole, Jr., making that tackle. Bradford covers that punt. Be a kickoff, right? Yeah. Now you're a basketball official. When do they shoot free throws? Uh, they don't. <laughs> Kevin T. Berry, tonight working along uh, U.S. Truly and uh, Potsy. And Sarah Smith, our producer and engineer. High formation now for the Bisons, and it will be a toss to Harbaugh on the right side. Cuts it back. Harbaugh bounces off one, but not the second, and Josh McCrady finishes him off. A couple of fouls had chances, missed him, but they forced him right back in, and McCrady wrapped and dropped. Second and about 10. Boy, Bradford's front line's getting that surge that everybody wants on a football team to get the line to make the quick penetration and make the offense not get off the ball, and Bradford's doing a super job. Super job up the middle. Well, we talked earlier, Kevin, during the pregame that you know, the Owls have a great offense, but I'll tell you what, this defense is pretty oh, good. Fast. Now we got uh, pro set here, ace formation for the Bisons. Kelly wants to throw the rushes out. He squares it out. It's caught, and the McCready has the tackle on Shattuck over to around the 33-yard line. It's short of a first down, so it looks to be third, maybe six or seven for Clearfield. 
I'll tell you, I'm kind of impressed with uh, Tanner Kelly. Uh, he's got a he's got a rocket on him for an arm when he lets go of it. He's a nice, quick wrist. He, he really throws the ball on a string right there to his receivers. He's hitting them on the numbers right now. He's not much of a game, but I think he's got to show a lot of patience, and uh, he's putting the ball in there. Bradford's doing a good job, though, on containment. Well, Clearfield likes to spread you out, but they've tried to spread the Owls out, but Kevin has pointed out that uh, the Owls have done a great job uh, getting quarterback sacks and stuff. Twin receivers coming to the left. The lone setback is uh, Harbold. And back to pass. The rush is on. They square it out. Harbold has it at the 30. 35, 40. Harbold puts his head down, and he gets railed there. And it's a first down for the Bisons out at the 43-yard line of Bradford. Uh, excellent pass play. They popped him out of the backfield. Bradford's outside linebacker got lost a little bit of containment. And a nice pickup by Clearfield. Check that uh, at the Clearfield 43. And uh, O'Toole on the stop for the Owls. So Clearfield with a different wrinkle there. Obviously trying to uh, take away the Owls' uh, speed at end. And those outside backers. Bison's putting Joe Davis out to the right side, and Ashantik coming to the left. Harbol is in that I formation set, flanker to the right. Here's Harbol coming straight ahead, and they've got him. There is nothing there for him up the middle, and uh, Joe Reinhardt wrapped him up and dropped him. Rocco Lentz underneath, too, hanging on to an ankle. He wasn't going to let go of it, and Joe finished it off. Just the way you practice it. Well, Steve Ackerman has told us numerous times, you have to have the uh, the big horses up front and uh, the owls have those guys and uh, that's a big key for a football team boy that front line really committed themselves to off season season when they were lifting and doing all the things when everybody else is playing they're in there working hard and it's paying off already so the bisons second and ten at their own 43 yard line bradford's both of their defensive ends are in an upright position here in this new look defense Motion to the right side, and back to pass. The rush is on. They throw it out there, and the pass is going to be incomplete. It was intended down there for uh, Michael Scoggins, and he couldn't come under it. Decent rush by the Owls, and I believe Colts uh, forced him over there, and Scoggins is down on the sidelines. So hold on here. Yeah, Wees hung right with him, and uh, excellent defense on the halfback position by Wees. And uh, I don't know if Scoggins twisted his knee or if he's got a little uh, cramp going right now. Well, he did fall kind of awkward because the ball was thrown over the wrong shoulder, and uh, that's probably what it is. He might have cramped there. He's still down over there. They're working on him right now to the ball game. So the Bisons with the... Uh Trips coming to the left side here, and Harbol is the lone setback in behind Kelly. The Owls' defensive ends are up in a rush mode here. Here's Kelly, a uh, toss sweep to the right side. There's holding all over the place here, and Snyder will drag him down, and uh, it'll be a loss of a yard on the play. Now, the interesting thing is, I, I don't know who it was. One of the Owls was going by, and the play was the other way, and the Clearfield guy reached out and just grabbed him from behind. He didn't have to do that, and... Yeah, he, he else made he, the play anyways. Yeah, that, that was where um, your defensive end has the uh, quarterback and the outside linebacker has the pitch man, and they just grabbed the back a hold of Colts and just grabbed his shoulder pads and held him up because Colts would have taken the quarterback right out, probably would have put him on a stretcher. Yeah, John was really coming. So they picked the flag up. The Owls uh, declined it. Sean Wieschak going back to the 30, looking for instructions from his uh, special teams coordinator, Jerry Pattison. You got quite the uh, fan group here tonight turning around waving at you, Frank. Oh, yeah, the whole family's down here. By the way, the JV Owls will be home to Ridgeway Tuesday. The JV Owls will be in action at 6 o'clock right here at Parkway Field. Come on out and sort the Owls. Support the Bradford Owls football boosters. They help support your team. So the uh, Bisons getting set to kick here on a uh, warm, muggy Friday night. This one's up in the air. It's high. Weesjack calls for the fair catch, and Sean makes it at the 33-yard line. So a good heads-up play, and it'll be first and 10 owls. Boy, did Morgan O'Brien just lay the lumber to that guy. Their single back, who usually stays back to protect the punter, was waiting there, and Morgan come full throttle and just laid him out. What an excellent drive there. So the Owls have it first and 10, 4.25 to go here in the first half. Frank, along with Kevin, Kevin T. Berry here on the Owls broadcast. Potsy helping me with stats. And Sarah Smith, our producer and engineer here on WESB. In the third inning, the Pittsburgh Pirates leading the Atlanta Braves 3-1. And the Owls setting up shop here. It'll be Snyder straight ahead. And Snyder coming ahead for maybe two or three. And it'll be second and about seven. Yeah, good inside pursuit that time. That's almost the exact same play to the opposite side. They run the down to the fullback, and uh, Clearfield definitely had that one read out uh, inside. Uh, Zimmerman takes care of that tackle. 
well, we can't give away any more dinners here in the first half. What can we do? Get another touchdown. Brian Wallace, senior center, leads the Owls out. Mike Austin, the junior, and I'll tell you, that's an uh, uh, interesting combination there because Mike's not very big. Wiesjack sweeping to the left side. Sean needs a block flag on the play, and Wiesjack gets cut down. Uh, he actually tripped over Aaron O'Toole, his own player, but a flag on the play, so they stop the clock. What do we have? I think we're going to have hold on Bradford, exact same thing. Yep, hold on the uh, offensive lineman. I'm not sure, but I think maybe Joe got out there and grabbed the hold of one of the one of the uh, tackles for Clearfield. I'm not sure. I don't want to pin it on him, but uh, Bradford definitely held inside there on this on the uh, sweep, and now Bradford's going to walk it back, get pushed back 10 yards here. Well, Coach Ackerman having some problems with his headset there, and uh, Matt DeGolier, the Owls wrestling coach, helping him out. So it'll be second and about, uh, oh, we'll call it uh, 15 to go back at the... Uh, about the 27-yard line of Bradford. Bradford hasn't had a real hard time tonight really clipping off eight, nine yards at a crack, so this is not really a get a couple, get six yards here, and they'll be in good shape. Weezjock in motion. It will be Austin giving the football, and uh, Snyder nothing doing there. He'll, he'll be stopped at the 24-yard line, so Clearfield had that one snuffed out. And almost like an avalanche as they all came back in there. Third and long for the Owls. Yeah, I think Bradford was looking at their crisscross play, and it got pulled out real quick and he didn't hand the ball off afraid of a fumble here and Clearfield just grabbed a hold of it and pulled him down. Smart play there for not handing it off. Now again, one of the interesting things we should point out is that, you know, these two teams uh, they ran scrimmages the last two weeks but they didn't show a lot and some of the timing may not be perfect yet in game situations and it may take time. Twin receivers coming to the right side. Austin under center on third and long for the Owls. Austin back to pass. Mike looking to throw. Airs it out there. He's got a man. It's Wiesjock all over through him at the 45. He had Wiesjock there but just couldn't quite hit him. It'll be fourth in a kicking situation for the Owls. I'll tell you what. I was impressed with that play. How about you, Frank? Mm -hmm. Mike, step back there. They like that three-step. No more than four-step drop. He plants his foot. Uh, Wies comes around on the wheel and he throws it. Just a little bit over. But that'll, that'll come. Timing, like you're saying. They'll get that down in that timing play. Uh, you got a guy like Weezjock, you got to throw it ahead of him. He'll catch it. Yeah. Well, again, um, the Owls with fourth and uh, long here, and Clearfield wants timeout. 2.42 to play, first half. Bradford 15, Clearfield nothing. This is Owls foot, Clearfield snapper. Brian, great snap as always. Wells' kick is away. It's a high one. And here is the kick. Harbaugh will take it at the 48. He'll call a fair catch there. And it'll be first and 10 Bisons. Bradford all over that punt return there. They smothered that quick. He had to take the fair catch. Plus, Clearfield wants no chances of fumbling the ball here. They want to try to stick this in the end zone and get some momentum going into halftime. Uh, Bradford now needs to do the reverse. They need to stop them and then let them take the momentum and get the ball to start the third quarter. 2.36 to play here in the first half. And uh, the Owls uh, going to line up here now on defense. And Clearfield going to put a receiver to the left and one to the right. They'll split the backs in behind Kelly. Now Kelly has thrown out of this formation. And Kelly's going to give it to uh, the sweet man to the right side. And McCready's got him. Oh, and McCready lassoed him and threw him down. Josh McCready coming through to make the play there. And McCready, a 5'10", 185-pound senior. Excellent job by Brent Robb coming in from the middle linebacker spot to push that thing deep into the backfield. They had to arch it out eight, nine yards deep. And that give time for Josh to come in there and finish it off. We haven't called Brent's number, but he has been all over the ball tonight. Well, you know, there's a lot of times where... You'll find out after a game, a guy only had maybe three or four tackles, but every time he went to make a tackle, he was in the right place, but somebody else made a big play. Yeah, Lentz and those guys up front, we haven't called their name on, but they're doing a great job of getting off the ball. Rocco Lentz and Joe Reinhardt are the defensive tackles on the interior. Second and 15 for the Bisons. Kelly wants to throw flags on the play, and this one's intercepted by the Owls, but it's going to be for not as an illegal procedure call, and Wiesjock would have been gone. Yeah, for the two teams right now, we had talked earlier in the game, We uh, a couple flags thrown around. We thought maybe there was quite a few, but it looks like Bradford's starting to get their timing down in a rhythm, and Clearfield looks like they're searching right now to get, get a pace, get something going for a little momentum here and, and try to make it happen. But they're heading the wrong way. They keep going back, and it looks like second and about, what, 60? <laughs> second and a mile. Hey, I wasn't a math major. My sister's a math teacher. Was oh, she? Yeah. I want to say hello to my sister. She's listening tonight, uh, listening all the way from Los Angeles, California. 
Actually, she's in attendance here. Nancy is in attendance, taking in the game, watching her uh, nephew play. They flare it out. It's caught by Harbaugh. Harbaugh at the 20, uh, 30, 35, uh, 33 yard line. He's down there, and it'll be. Uh, third and long but uh, Nancy hello to Nancy there she uh, flew all the way in yesterday from Los Angeles she's a school teacher in Burbank California flew in to watch her nephew play who she's never seen play I thought maybe she uh, flew in just to listen to her brother on the radio but she's probably heard his big mouth all through growing up <laughs> oh thanks she's shaking her head yes so Clearfield facing third and long and the Bisons look to be putting in their uh, K-Gun package. Bradford actually put them back another two yards, I think, there, Frank, on that. They had it snuffed out, made the quarterback roll out. Brent Robb stayed at home and not, uh, knocked them back, I think, for about a two-yard loss on that. So the Owls setting up shop here in their 44 defense. Clearfield, third and long. This would be another big stop for the Owls. Here's Kelly back to pass. The rush is on. Kelly throws it out there, and it's going to be caught complete at the 40, down to the 38-yard line. So it'll be first down for the Bisons. As Kelly hit his man perfectly in stride, and with a great catch there was Michael Scoggins, and he is down again. That was an excellent fade pass by Tanner. Again, we spoke a little bit earlier about his passing ability. He lofted that thing up, and uh, Aaron got turned the wrong way, and I uh, snuck in behind him, and Scoggins made a great catch and run at the end, and looks like he's that same leg. Well, Scoggins didn't want to go up, but... Uh they told him he had to leave. So first and 10 Bisons. We're down to 38 seconds to go here in this uh, first half. The Owls leading 15 nothing. Ace formation. And Harbaugh again in the setback there. Back to pass. They throw it out. And it is caught by Hall at the 32-yard uh, line. It is complete. He's in bounds. And Clearfield's going to have to take a timeout. Is that Clearfield's last timeout? Did they call? Is this their third timeout? Well, I'm not sure if they it's their second or third. But, uh, I look at Potsy and the hands go up. Well, in any event, uh, the Bisons with a timeout, so the Owls uh, will take time to talk to. The Owls return to action a week from Saturday, a week from tomorrow. They'll be competitive with the Clearfields, uh, Punksies, Brookfields, Dubois's, and St. Mary's. So the Bisons have it second and about 16, six to go, 32 seconds to play here in the first half. The Owls need a big defensive stop here. Split backs. It'll be Harbaugh. They're going to run a double reverse. And going to the left side, here is Harbaugh trying to get outside. He's going to be dragged down by Brian Wallace. And uh, Scoggins coming along the left side took the double reverse. Wallace stayed home. There was somebody else there, too. And Brian dropped him. How about staying home? Teach him, teach him, and teach him. And Brian Wallace stayed right where he was supposed to stay. Ten seconds to go here in the first half. Kelly back to pass. The rush is on. Kelly airs it out. He's got a man there, and it's going to be out of bounds and incomplete. Good pressure from the Owls, and three seconds to go here in the uh, first half. Excellent defense. Bradford's playing pass all the way. There's halfbacks. Uh, safety's deep, and uh, just not going to let them behind them. They can get that catch because the clock's going to run out. So this will be fourth and ten. I'll tell you, the Owls had a decent rush. They forced Kelly to maybe throw the ball a second quicker than he wanted to. And then on top of that, great coverage by the Owls defensive back. I think it was uh, Weezjock, right? Uh, uh, no, actually on this side it was O'Toole. He did a super job. All right. Got turned through, got his hips. He looked good. Fourth and ten. Bison's down to their final play. Tanner back to pass. Throws it to the end zone. He's got a man there and it's going to be intercepted by Jake Wells. Wells intercepts it and that's the end of the uh, first half of this for zero yards and Kelly for one scramble there for uh, five yards. The passing, they've had a little bit of success. Uh, six for ten for 84 yards. Uh, Scoggins pretty much picking up all those reception for him. Five penalties for 35 yards for uh, Clearfield. Um, now for Bradford, we just take a quick peek over here. We and the Owls will be getting the football here to uh, start the second half. So the Owls will go on offense again. And, you know, the first half there, I'm sure the coaching staff uh, pretty pleased with uh, the way things went, although uh, Clearfield did move the ball at the end with uh, a few passes. And, uh, of course, the Owls uh, had some timely and costly penalties, which took away some big runs. Right, that was one stat I didn't throw it, as Bradford had uh, three penalties for 25 yards in the first half. But uh, you're right, costly penalties takes points off the boards, and uh, you never want that. Owls will be on the road a week from uh, tomorrow night where they'll be taking on the... Ole and Huskies, you'll hear that game over on Hero Radio Cool 100 next week as we will be, uh, of course, uh, carrying the University of Pitt on the uh, 
WESB. So we'll have the Owls, but we'll have them on Cool 100 next Friday because we're obligated because of that pit contract, and it's just one of those things that uh, worked out that way. Well, Bradford's definitely, you probably heard it, and they know, I know they heard this from the coaches. There's two halves to a ball game, Frank. Let's see how they get off here. So we're set for the uh, kickoff here. And Clearfield going to put the ball in play, and it will be taken by Weesjock. He'll have to let it go into the end zone. So it'll be first and 10 Owls at their own 20 here to start the second half. So a good kickoff by Clearfield there as uh, the uh, kicker, uh, Matthew Morgan, kicks it all the way into the end zone. Yeah, no one's had a good kickoff yet. Everything's been squibbing across the field, and dangerous way to pick it up sometimes. Smart move just to let it roll into the end zone, start fresh right at the 20. And uh, Bradford's going right to left. So the Owls will set up shop here first and dead as we start the second half. And boy, a drive right now and a touchdown would be really good for the Owls here against this Bison team. Jeff Kleinberger comes to the left. Austin motions Aaron O'Toole to the right. It'll be Snyder coming straight ahead. And Snyder gets maybe a yard. That's it. It'll be second and long. Definitely some adjustments at uh, halftime by Clearfield's defensive coordinators because there was six guys on the ball that time. It was a trap on the down to the end. And uh, Clearfield smothered it. Well, teams make adjustments at the half, Kevin. The Owls have to feel that out offensively and get a look to where they're going now. Bradford definitely felt out that when they shifted left on their adjustments and came to the weak side. Let's see if Bradford can do the same. Strong side or wide side of the field is to the uh, left side. And McCready lining up in a uh, tight end spot to the right. Wings behind Austin here. Clearfield looked like they moved, and it will be Weesjock sweeping that way. Weesjock trying to turn the corner. Weesjock at the 20, 25, and Weesjock gets to the 26-yard line. No flags on the play. A couple of Clearfield guys looked like they leaned into the neutral zone, but apparently uh, the officials deemed it not into the uh, encroachment area, so that'll make it third and about five. Definitely all skill and talent on that one. Wees uh, had one guy have him in the backfield, and he break free, and he squirted outside to pick up five on his own, and uh, Bo Ryan stopped him as the uh, outside halfback, knocking him down. Junior, Bo Ryan. Well, you know, Clearfield making changes. Now let's see what the Owls do here on third and about five at their own 25-yard line. Double wing set here for Austin and the Owls. And it will be the counter play. Here comes Weesjock straight ahead. Weesjock across the 25, and he gets out close to the 30, and it all depends on where the spot is, but I think he's going to be short. Bradford running the counter. The quarterback rolls out, hands it off to the halfback, coming back on a, a counter play. Uh, Clearfield kind of had it a little bit blocked off there, and Bradford just couldn't get the footwork, but uh, they're going to have to punt. Our third quarter contestant is Bradley Saxton. Toji's Touchdown Sweepstakes, Toji's Family Restaurant. Harbaugh dropping back at the uh, 38-yard line, awaiting the kick from Jake Wells. So the Owls will have to go on defense here. Good snap from Brian Wallace. Wells' kick, not a good snap uh, kick there. And it will take a Bradford bounce roll midfield down to the 45 and out of bounds there. So it will be uh, first and 10 Bisons. They'll have decent field position at their own 44-yard.